Assalamu alaikum everyone. Satya Gundal here from Javed Publishers. Today we will be doing Kids English Grade 4, Chapter Number 10, and the topic of the chapter is My Dear Sister. So let's start. On page number 69, now we will be doing personal response questions and in this section, we would be giving our own opinions, our own ideas about the question. So the first question is, what do you say about the advice of Aksa? Do you find these suggestions appropriate? And the answer is, Aksa gave some very productive pieces of advice and especially the advice about making a timetable was the best one. Also. The most appropriate suggestions included developing a reading habit daily because when you read good books daily, you develop good vocabulary and when you have a good vocabulary, you are able to express and write in a much better manner. Next question is, have you ever written a letter to anyone? Now this answer can be something very personal. You might have written a letter to somebody, you might have not. Nowadays people usually write emails, but you can ask the students and you can ask them if they have written any letter anytime, what kind of letter was that? And have they written it to their friends or to their parents? Okay, and now let's talk about the dialogue. We have to read the given dialogue with correct rhythm, intonation and pronunciation and in this dialogue we will be talking about how to lead and follow others. Ms. Asma says, hi students, our school is arranging a book festival in the next week and you will make posters about it. Sef says, that's interesting miss. Ms. Asma says, I'm making group of students and you'll select your leader from your group for this activity. You will have to follow instructions of your group leader. She then divides the class into groups. Now select your group leader. Now dear teachers, this dialogue shows the place where we can tell others how to lead. Making somebody a group leader helps a lot. Okay, next Imran says, I choose Saif as our leader because he won the drawing competition last year. Alia says, I agree with you Imran. Saif says, thank you friends. First we'll collect our art material. Then we shall start our project from tomorrow. We shall also search some ideas about the poster. Alia says, okay, Sef, we shall discuss it at break time. So dear teachers and students also notice when you are following others, when you are making somebody your leader, you make sure that you follow them. Also in this dialogue, when everybody is talking about that we will do this and afterwards we will do that, we plan things as a team to make our project successful. On page number 70, now we will be doing the spellings. First spelling is semester and the missing letter is M and T. Next word is schedule and the missing letter is C. Next word is hesitate and the missing letter is H and E. Next word is guidance, the missing letter is D. And the last word is vocabulary, the missing letter is V. Next part on page number 70 is about word family. We are going to talk about root words. Root words are basically word families and we usually add suffixes or prefixes to them. Suffixes comes at the end of the word. For example, friendship. Here ship is the suffix coming at the end of the word and prefixes come at the beginning of the word. So when you say friendship, again, friend over here is going to be the prefix. So let's read the given words now and let's see how we can make different words from one word. Now we have supporter as noun and we can make verb from this word that is support. Adjective of supporter would be supportive and adverb would be supportable. Actor is the noun. Act would be the verb. Active would be the adjective and actively would be the adverb. Decision is a noun, decide is the verb, adjective is decided and adverb is decidedly. Let's talk about parts of speech now. You have been given different words and you have to, give me, you have to write them in their proper columns. Upset word is verb, carefully is adverb, monthly adverb, sister is noun, Brilliant is adjective, discuss is verb, student is noun, ideas is noun, on preposition, bad adjective, at 
preposition he pronoun share verb thanked verb her pronoun the next portion of grammar tells us that we have to underline the pronouns as subjective, objective or possessive pronouns. Subjective pronouns are ones in which you do the action. For example, I, my. Objective pronouns are one in which the action is done on some object. And for example, it becomes me, her. And then possessive case. Possessive pronouns are ones in which you show the ownership. Sentence A is she works as a teacher. Here she is subjective pronoun. Sentence B. This is my car. It's mine. Mine is possessive pronoun. Sentence C. I think this pencil box is yours because I left mine at home. Yours over here is objective pronoun. Then we have sentence D. We are from Kuwait. We over here is subjective pronoun. E. Please give this color to me. Me over here is again objective pronoun. On page number 71, let's revise some of the tenses. And the tenses that we will be revising today are simple present tense, present continuous tense and simple past tense. So when we are making a sentence of simple present tense, we use subject plus the verb with S or ES plus we use the object. For example, she writes a letter. Here she is the subject, writes is the verb and a letter is the object. Then you have present continuous tense. We use present continuous tense when we are talking about the things that are still taking place. The task, the work has not yet finished. So the formula would be subject plus is am are plus the verb with ing plus the object. For example, Arham is playing football. Here Arham is the subject. Is is the auxiliary or the helping verb. Playing is the verb and football is the object. Then you have simple past tense. We use simple past tense when we are talking about activities that are finished, that are completed. And the formula is subject plus past form plus object. For example, they completed their project. Here they is subject, completed is the past tense of the verb complete and object is project. The next question tells you to make five sentences of each tense given above. So let's make the five sentences. The first sentence would be, she goes to school, it's simple present tense. She is reading the book, it's simple present continuous tense. And simple past tense will be, he finished his work. And present continuous tense example would be, my friend is playing chess. And the example of simple past tense would be, my friend has not yet completed his work. Thank you everyone. Apna bahut sara khayal rakhiyega aur jode rahiyega bolte kitabon ke saath.